There were some strong emotions vented today in Los Angeles as anger increases over a disturbing allegation that in the 1980s, the CIA knowingly permitted black neighborhoods to be flooded with crack cocaine. From the beginning, people were saying, oh, man, you can't sell no cocaine around here. You, you got to go to, to Beverly Hills. You got to go to the white part of town. State your name, gangster. What up, y'all? This is the real Rick Ross, Freeway Rick in the house. This Gully TV, man, it's pleased to meet you. Tell tell me uh, how you made your way to Gully, Gully TV. We got an alley from the East Coast, Jimmy DeSaint. For real, that's my man, you know what I'm saying? Black Scarface, shout out to Jim. You know what I'm saying? And the whole ITH family. Yeah. You know, you know how we do it from Philly to LA. You know, we connected. You know, it's no secret to who you are. The whole world know who you are. For those who don't, for those who've been living up under a rock, tell them exactly who you is and what you're famous for before we get into the book. This is the new book, you know what I'm saying? They lay it all out. Uh, I come from the real bottom to the top. You know what I'm saying? Not none of these cats, you know what I'm saying? Who mama and daddy was lawyers and doctors and, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and never been to the hood. You know what I'm saying? This is a real hood story, you know what I'm saying, from the bottom to the top. It's ironic that we sit here interviewing you, you the real Rick Ross, and we got this music playing behind us. How do how do that rub you, man, that somebody else is selling your story? Like, on some, on some G shit. Well, you know, it, it, it's really foul, you know what I'm saying? But uh, at the end of the day, you know, I expect games, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he came up, you know, he put a lick down, he got over, he got his bread, and, you know, shout out to the brother. Humble. Um, what do you, uh, how do you, your title, like, when I, when I got down, when I got the plug to interview you, I didn't know exactly how to address you, you know what I'm saying, you so humble and shit, like, to me, you a gangster, my nigga, and in our eyes, I'm a street nigga, you a black gangster and shit, do you got a problem with being addressed as a black gangster? Nah, no, not at all, you know what I'm saying, I respect all the brothers from all over, you know what I'm saying, with all the different hustles, you know, uh, one hustle is just as good as another, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe that no sin is no better, no bad, worse, or no uh, uh, better than another sin, you know what I'm saying? And we all sin in the eyes of God, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool with that. And we all sin in the eyes of God, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool with that. You got anything uh, that, you could, that you could lay on the youth, uh, my nigga? You definitely got to go get this book, man. I, I believe that every black, I don't care what line of work you in, uh, what field you in, you definitely got to go read this book. I put my heart and soul into this book when I wrote it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all definitely got to go check it out. It's going to help everybody. It's a book that every black America definitely needs to read. Uh, the most important thing is to know that your life is just as good as anybody else's. I don't care how much money they got, they ain't no better than you. So that's the, that's the story from A to Z. Everything everybody want to know about you. Put it all in the book. And I hope y'all read it. Well, you know right now the ghetto read. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No doubt. What, uh, you know what I'm saying? Tell me something about something, something about the things you're doing in the community out, out here on the West Coast. Uh, man, you know, I'm killing the streets right now. You know, I got a street movement that's, that's sick, like they ain't never seen before. Right now, I'm number 12 on Amazon for, for all books. You know what I'm saying? Hot 100. Yeah, uh, that? Some like 80, 100,000 books on the air. I'm the number one independent that's author. On, uh, that's on Hill, ain't it? Man, I'm going around the schools talking to kids about, you know what I'm saying, how to make it legit, how to make it and never go to prison. So, uh, you know, that's just some of the things I'm doing. I got a record label, I'm looking for artists. Uh, Say it again. I got a record label, I'm looking for artists. I'm doing music, movies, uh, comedy, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to my man Michael Blackson, you know what I'm saying. Me and Mike going on tour together, you know, right. so I'm just trying to grind it, man, showing them that, you know what I'm saying, you don't need nobody to come in and put no strings around your arms and in your back and guide you around and you can make it on your own. Out of all that, uh, out of all that money they alleged, allegedly that they said you handled or whatever, and now you down, you out here pumping your book for $20 a pop, do you regret any, any of it? No, Anything man, that happened. That's how I started off in other game, right on the block. Just standing on the curb, you know, twenty dollars at a time, fifty dollars at a time. So it, it ain't no difference right now. The, the commodity just changed. changed. It's right still, now I'm selling paper and words instead of uh, 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 crack. So you know, it's all gonna come the same. It ain't what, how much money you make is what you do with the money you make. And uh, that's when I'm gonna take the money and I'm gonna make it work for me. How the West Coast hip hop community welcome you home? How they treating you out here, man? I, mean, I get mad love all over, not just from the hip hop community, but you know people have to respect me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, because of the way I think and the way I feel about myself. 
and, and, and because I respect everybody else. You got any shout outs? You got anybody that's still in the penitentiary, man, that you want to give a shout out to? Man, I got a bunch of homies in the penitentiary that I ain't forgot about. I'm going to change these laws for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Because I believe these drug laws are illegal and bogus, and the drug war is bogus. But shout out to all y'all, man. Keep your head up, you know what I'm saying, to somebody I get a kid. Give me a um, give me a drop for Gully TV, man. I appreciate your time, man. We really we, we put it together. I came all the way from Pennsylvania. You kept your word, and I appreciate you, Black man, you Gangster. Gotta, I want to come to Pennsylvania, man, and do a book signing. You gotta invite me out to get that book signed up and help me out. All right, all right, we gonna put shout that out together. To, shout out to Gully TV from the Real Rick Ross, the one and only. We live here on Figueroa. This used to be my block. You know what I'm saying? This is all you right here. Man, go back a few blocks down. That's me, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right. Shout out to everybody in Philly, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy Saint and the rest of y'all. Big up. All right. <coughs> this is the real Rick Ross. Tune in to Gully TV. You dig? We have Miss Los Angeles with it, man. Doing the damn thing. Fucking with some real live activity, man. All that fake shit, man. Don't be a faker. Be a real live Laker. Right. No Let's doubt. Go. No doubt. Thank you.